What's good everyone? Welcome to the video. So on the last video you would have seen the Pulsar brake was just on. Uh, loads of people jumped in the comments straight away and completely right were saying, you know what, it's probably just the brake switch. A uh, little switch attached to the brake pedal, you know, connects, depresses, complete circuit, whatever, and it's done. And you know what, I thought about that once the video had ended. And I know it seems easy for me to sit here and say it, um, but I spoke to Nick and we both sort of come to that same conclusion. So you're completely right. I think we're all on the same page. I'm going to go take a look at it now, today, see if we can get it fixed. Um, because the Pulsars, although the CV boots, you know, not in good shape on the Pulsar, obviously I can still sort of bed in the brakes a little bit. I can limp it around. It's not ideal. You shouldn't be driving it with a CV boot split, but it's the tiniest of tears. Um, so I still kind of want to drive it a little bit. I actually have spare axles as well, drive shafts, axles, whatever. Um, but anyway, let's go look at the Pulsar and just see if we can fix this stupid brake anyway. Can I have a look at this car? Alright guys. How's it going, boy? Are you enjoying the sun? Are you enjoying the sun? Yeah. So, break in here somewhere. Uh, I was told that I was told that there should be some uh, some plastic stuff down in here somewhere. Basically, from where something has snapped off. Mm, no, there's a, a screw though. I don't think that's anything to do with it. I've got to get in under here and have a look now. Uh, and I shall hopefully be able to show you some stuff. Right, so I've had a look. It looks like that bolt that I found was actually part of it. And what I think that they were using the bolt for was in the hole just to generate a, a well, to be able to push the lever back basically to disconnect the circuit. So I've pushed that back in the hole. I'm going to try and show you now, but this is very, very difficult stuff um, in terms of getting the angle right. <laughs> To, uh, to know, I guess, what to actually show you. So, you can see, no, you can't see anything. God damn. Um, God, this is so bad, isn't it? Terrible, and it's really weird and rusted down there. But basically, there you go, you should be able to see that, I think. With a bit of luck. But anyway, whatever. You, you move. <laughs> I, I can't, I literally can't do this. So you, you push this down and then there's a lever at the top and then it sort of comes back and it connects to something. And basically it looks like something's fallen out of there. So I'm gonna reconnect the battery and double check that the brakes are off now. Uh, very temporary fix, not actually fixed, but for now, temporarily fixed. Right, I'm just gonna start the car just cause again, saving battery power just in case anyway. So, started, car is started, let's go, just go double check the back, hopefully they're not on. Jesper, you don't like the sound here? No, not a fan. Absolute joke. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to set you up and just press and depress and double check that they do actually work. But what a bloody joke, what a pain in the ass.
say that's a massive success, quite frankly, but then my feet are absolutely on fire right now. Let's go in there so we can actually talk. So we fixed it. Big success. Way huge success. I'm so happy with that. I'm still getting used to looking down the lens. I keep looking at the side thing. Sorry. Uh, it's fixed. <laughs> Oh, what a total crock of shit. Who'd have thought that was so easy to do? Um, what I'm going to do, though, I'm going to leave a better video to explain the problem in the description box. I know this is not a how-to. This is just me quickly muddling through and fixing it, right? So I'm going to leave a better um, video to you know on, on actually where the problem is so you can see it if you're having the same problem in the description box because this is not a how-to. But I know some people may find this and go, oh, well, you've not explained it. I know. I get it. So I'll leave it in the description box. <sighs> there you go. It's done. Finally fixed. Um, which is good. It means I can technically go out in the pole side now and check the brakes, sort of. At least try and bed them in a little bit. Um, just because we're here now talking about the pulsar, let me explain a few things. I've got a new bumper on the way. I've had a bike from Japan. The New Zealand people let me down. No, not a, it's not a dig on them. They just let me down. It is what it is. Uh, shipping, whatever. It's just it just is what it is. So I bought one from Japan. It's not an OEM one. Long story short about that one is I spotted a bumper. I grabbed the bumper from Yahoo Auctions. Didn't realize there was an OEM one. So I've got a crazy Hornet. It's a discontinued body kit. It's actually really cool. Like I like the look of it. I would have preferred OEM, but never mind. So we got a, a bumper on the way. Um, and then like a whole string of other bits and pieces. The 370Z is going to get some love soon. I promise. I've ordered some parts for the Z that you guys are going to really like, that I'm going to really like, and it goes off of paint soon. So it goes off of paint in July. It needs the rust to be sorted out. It needs the carbon fiber to be redone, refinished, and just general paint correction so that's happening in july as well so the z is getting some love make no mistake i love that car i was going to sell it and buy something completely different i just can't i love that car it's so nice um so there's an update and a rundown we fixed the pulsar fuck's sake what a joke if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up we've got lots more to come i should be going to a car show i think with nick when this comes out i should have just come back from it but no guarantees because it's all hinging on whether I can get this little munchkin looked after. Isn't it, Jaspi? Yeah. Because we all love you, mate. We all love you. Yes. So, yeah. It remains to be seen. We'll see how we go. But if you enjoy this video, thumbs up. Give the video a like. Please do share it. Check out the merch linked in the description box. Support the R32 build. Support the Pulsar. And support worse what we're doing here. Cheers. Love you. Bye.